Hey y'all, I am back on my bullshit. Today I am in Tennessee. Yeah, um, had to fly out here on an ambi plane with my son. Just got him checked in to his treatment center at my hotel with extremely shitty Wi-Fi waiting for my grilled cheese to be delivered. Yes, I ordered grilled cheese. And um, now that we're all caught up on how horribly I'm doing, let's get into how horribly Amber Heard is doing. Amber Heard travels to Spain under an alias of a Native American killer to spite Johnny Depp's ancestry. She uses the name Martha Jane Canary, a.k.a. Calamity Jane, when traveling. Amber Heard has been on a Euro trip with her girlfriend, Bianca Booty, and daughter, Una Page. It was reported that the name she used as an alias is Martha Jane Canary, or most commonly referred to as Calamity Jane. According to Diario de Mallorca, Amber Heard was last seen on the Spanish island of Palma de Mallorca, where she was photographed spending some much-needed quality time with her daughter, Meanwhile, she used an alias so she could make travel arrangements without raising any flags about her visit. Well, that didn't work. What is peculiar is her choice and what name she used as an alias. The name is Calamity Jane. This particular person was from the Wild West era between the mid-1800s to early 1900s, and she made a name for herself for being a sharpshooter and killer of First Nations people. Which, if y'all aren't aware, we're not calling them natives or Indians anymore. They prefer to be called First Nations people, and uh, obviously they get to choose what they're called, so that's what we're calling them. Calamity Jane was specifically against First Nations people that fought the invasion of settlers that were coming from the eastern part of what used to be the Union, claiming the so-called Manifest Destiny which said that by the hand of God they were entitled to a piece of land wherever they chose to settle and establish Christianity as the only religious belief. Most likely, Amber Heard chose this name to have a direct attack on Johnny Depp, who has repeatedly emphasized his family roots lie in the ancient tribes of First Nation peoples and that his great-great-grandmother was Cherokee or Creek Indian. He even played a First Nations person in the movie The Lone Ranger. As we know, Amber Heard has been a, well, just horrible person. But in addition to using the name of an indigenous, or I'm not indigenous, First Nation person's murderer, she also has posted homophobic slurs on her page. Um, Dumbbells are for insert slur word there. And if you don't believe me, this article right here says uh, sports writer and commentator Dave Zirin, who is straight but covers issues of social justice in sports and knows a lot more about all of this stuff than any of the rest of us, shared powerful insight with the reporter about the deep roots of the word, which I just showed, which I'm not going to say, which here it is on the screen. This is the word that we're not saying because it's horrible. The word blank was popularized by Teddy Roosevelt as a way to describe young men who did not play tackle football at a time when deaths on the football field took place with shocking regularity. It was a toxic slur then, and it's a toxic slur now, and one that Amber Heard likes to use. Then it was the archetype of what it meant to be a gay man in popular culture. The blank was someone to laugh at, to mock, and off-screen, to brutalize without fear of reprisals. I can understand if fans are not aware of this history, but they should learn it, accept it, and listen to people telling them that it's absolutely out of bounds. I agree. So, it really is just another notch in Amber Heard's hate belt, using homophobic slurs, and now using... um, the name of someone who has killed a lot of First Nations people to get back at Johnny. Um, We know that she has no love for him, regardless of what she says. And she obviously 
wishes that she, as Calamity Jane, could take on Johnny Depp, the First Nations person, and do exactly what Calamity Jane did to First Nations person, which is obliterate them. Unfortunately for her, that doesn't seem to be going so well as, well, everyone loves Johnny and everyone hates Amber. All right, guys, I will keep you up to date on the latest Amber Heard hate and all of the stupid things that she does with her life. Please like, sub, and share. Please and thank you. Bye.